several pillars and a cross, all that remain at the top of this hill. But this town wouldn't have been founded without that church. Now the town is stepping up to find the church a temporary home. The Congregational Church of Eastford, integral to the founding of this community when it split from Ashford in the 1700s, burned to the ground Sunday. Colonial law then was you couldn't have a town in Connecticut unless you had first established a congregational church. And so I guess I could say we were here like first. And so we're not going anywhere. The Reverend Michael Moran didn't have time to process shock or grief. Several pillars and a cross remain Monday where hours earlier stood the historic building where he has preached from the Bible for the past 18 years. How do we learn very quickly how to do church without the resource that was up on the hill here? Seven hours later. They've reassured us that they're here for us, so thank you. What Pastor Mike didn't have time to figure out, the community did, from spray painting this makeshift sign to opening the elementary school for worship. It was like total shock to all of us because it had been someplace where we knew people or currently no people. More than a dozen fire companies responded around 3.30 in the morning. Extra tankers were needed due to the lack of water in the area. Once we got here, we couldn't go inside uh, due to the, the volume of fire. Even without a church home, Pastor Mike has all the faith this centuries-old congregation will remain vibrant and rebuild. I mean, we know God is good and he's doing something good. We just don't know what it is. The church does have fire insurance and an adjuster was here earlier today. That whole process could take several years. In the meantime, the town and the school system has offered up several places for the church to worship. In the meantime, in Eastford, I'm Samaya Hernandez, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.